So an advanced care directive is really for anybody over the age of 18 as a guide to think about how you want your healthcare approached. A healthcare directive is a legal document that chooses who it would be that would make decisions for you if you couldn't speak for yourself. That's the only legally binding part of that document. The rest of that document is really a guide about what kinds of things are important to you in your life and in your health care. Really, you know, life is unpredictable. We don't know when we might get in a car accident, when some chance tragic event might happen. And so sooner rather than later, having these conversations with our families, with our loved ones, to let them know what we would want should those things happen to us and who we would want to be the final decision maker. It becomes especially important as we get older, as we get more medical problems and these serious medical events become more likely, it becomes a lot more important to have that guidance for our families such that they don't have to be burdened with making difficult decisions without our guidance. And so this is almost like a gift to your family in the present such that they can make the decisions that make the most sense for you. We often have something called a family meeting where we gather the, the important people in that person's life and really talk about what the situation is and what those family members or close people know about the patient and how they've lived their lives to talk about and think about what to do next. And if the conversations haven't been had, it can actually lead to a lot of conflict between family members. The Advanced Care Directive can be a really helpful tool, you know, in a lot of ways, a guide to help families and patients talk about these things so that you, know, you get the things you, you want and you don't get the things you wouldn't want. You can get these forms either at your primary care provider's office. We have them at the palliative care clinic for folks that already have advanced diseases. The hospital has these forms available. You can find them online. Advanced care directive can always be changed in the future. Again, just needs to be completed correctly, but oftentimes over the course of our lifetimes, a 40-year-old might have different decisions than they might select when they're 70, revising their advanced care directive. And I think that's a really healthy thing to do is to actually revisit it every few years and actually can help us live a more present, fulfilling life to think about how it is that we really value different aspects of our life and that might be different for different people at different stages.